Hey everybody, thanks for uh, tuning into my channel here. Uh, real quickly, I saw a story this morning on Yahoo that caught my eye, and uh, it took place at an Applebee's in St. Louis. Uh, the name of the article was, Applebee's fires waitress who posted receipt from pastor complaining about auto tip. Apparently what happened was, this waitress, Chelsea Welch, uh, provided a service to this uh, woman named Alice Bell, or, or uh, Louise Bell, and uh, after the service was completed, and you get to that part like we all do, you know, when we're at a restaurant and you have to provide a tip. She only tipped her zero dollars, you know. What a nice, generous tip, you know. Zero dollars for walking around and being somebody's slave for the day. And uh, it just really gets to me because I don't know if, if you've never been in that situation where you've been a, a waiter or waitress before or a host or a hostess. You probably don't understand how much how bad that makes you feel, and uh, luckily I was never in a situation where somebody put like a a note on their receipt, or I probably would have flipped the fuck out. Um, but on the receipt, this pastor wrote, "I give God ten percent. Why do you get 18? I probably would have flipped out on the bitch, <laughs> and uh. <laughs> like right in front, right in the restaurant I did you know it's just how it would have been um and then I look at the receipt and it's only for you know it was what it says in the story it was like five for five people heard or like four kids and oh to be a waiter or a waitress and have to put up with one adult that has like four or five kids that's a pain in the ass enough um but then for this lady to write, I give God ten percent. Why do I get? Why do you get eighteen? That leave you a zero dollar for tip? That's just ridiculous. Honestly, that should just be a crime. That's that's what I think. I I think somebody should be, you should be able to find somebody for that. But that's my opinion. Because if you never waited or waitressed before, you know, especially in a busy environment, you won't understand how just bad that really is. Um. So, I guess what happened here after the waitress got this uh, message, I give God 10%, why don't you get 18? Uh, she took a picture of it and posted it online. And of course, just like all the other receipts we've been seeing for like the last year, they get posted online. They just seem to go viral. And uh, now this, uh, this priest is coming out and saying, "Oh, I've a, you know, I made my church look bad and everything, but that still didn't stop her from calling Applebee's and complaining about it and then getting the waitress Chelsea Welch fired on top of that." Um and another thing, you know, one of the things I like after I read this whole Yahoo story, one thing they left out of it, and I'm going to touch on it because, you know, I I feel it should be touched on. Um if you go to uh you Google Alois Bell um let me see here you'll see who she is. It's this black pasture and the server is white. Now, how do you think this story would have went down if the uh server would have been black and the pasture would have been white? This would have been a whole different other story. They'd have it on CNN, you know, and Fox News and everything. Oh, racist, you know, white pasture insults black waiter. You know, that's that's how it would have been. That's how it would have went down. But since the roles are reversed, it's okay, you know. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos before, you know, I've you know I've kind of explained. I've kind of gone through a lot of stuff in my life and. One time I had some downtime in the Marines. I took a job as a host at Fuddruckers. And uh, that night, it was like 9.30. We were going to close at 10. I went through. I vacuumed the whole place. I got all the tables, you know. I put them all back in position. Made everything look nice. Wiped all the tables down and stuff. Because I was the last one on duty, you know. And uh, 
just to like right around like 940 a bus of like 60 something uh, church people pull up and I don't know if they were I can't remember if they were Methodist or Christian or whatever um, they came to the door and of course my manager you know thinking money in her mind she decides to let him in you know and we were like 20 minutes from closing I mean 67 people that's like a full restaurant right there all over again after I just did all that cleaning up and everything making five bucks and something an hour because that's what the minimum wage was back then so these people all come back they all come in they take all the tables they form them into like a giant L shape and then that whole you know next two hours you know instead of getting off at 10 I didn't get off till midnight uh, you know, I'm there getting them their drinks and everything and helping them out and getting, getting them food, bringing food out to them and stuff. And, uh, after that was all said and done and they all left, I thought, well, at least I'll get a decent tip out of this, you know. They left a fucking $1 tip. And then they also left a business card, uh, with a message on the back, you know, like to become a member of their church because they were heading out to Indiana or something like that and I I was furious you know I I told my manager this is you know this is bullshit you know and so and I was young and I guess I'd let people walk on me more so I did actually clean up everything and put everything back but after that I quit you know I I just didn't come in the next day when I was supposed to. I said, fuck you, you know, after I thought about it more and stuff, because that, that was just total bullshit. So I can, you know, I can relate with waiters and waitresses and hostess and that, you know, and then even when I went to college, I waitered and stuff. And, you know, you don't fuck around with people that wait on your food. That's all I can say. You do not fucking mess around with people that provide you your food at a restaurant and I'll leave it at that so um, I feel bad for this Chelsea Welch lady uh, as for Applebee's fuck them I hope a lot of people boycott them for firing her I mean I boycotted Applebee's a long time ago I haven't been to an Applebee's in years but uh, anyway leave your thoughts and comments below um, and thanks for watching my video Alright, see you guys. Bye.